This season we've met people on the road as Jesus has walked to Jerusalem and to the cross. Satan, Nicodemus, the woman at the well, the blind man, Lazarus and his sisters. And today we encounter the crowds. In the book of Matthew, the crowd is another character. They're the disciples in mass. I have a painting that I got from a Haitian artist of women, all to, jumbled together, all faceless. This is the image we see of the crowds. They're faceless masses of people who are following Jesus. They appear at the beginning of his ministry coming from around the region. Crowds listen to him at the Sermon on the Mount. Over and over again, crowds are astounded at his authority as they see him heal the sick, cast out demons, and more. And the crowds in their bellies are filled not once, but twice. They begin to wonder if he's the son of David, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. We see today the crowds as they gather, as Jesus enters Jerusalem, they've come to wonder if he is the son of David and Matthew's telling of the story helps us to believe that he is. The parade starts at the Mount of Olives, the place that Zechariah claims the Messiah would appear from. The scriptures he quotes strengthen the idea that Jesus was fulfilling prophecy. The Pharisees even affirm in chapter 22 that he is the son of God, the son of David. And the son of David comes to save. Hosanna, they shout. Save us, they cry. Like the Messiah you are, save us. Like the one prophesied of old, save us. Like the king who comes in the name of the Lord, save us. Oh, whoops, you're on a donkey. Oh, whoops, where's your power, man of God? Is this your cry? Save us? Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah of God, the one who would save you from the cost of your sins? Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah of God, the one who comes in the name of the Lord? Do you believe? Or maybe, just maybe you're a little more like the ones in the whole city, asking the question, who is this man? Not everybody knew who he was. They didn't have a 24-hour news cycle in Jerusalem. Who is this, the people in the city questioned to the crowds. How would you answer this? It's easy for us to come to worship to do the practices of our faith. But if someone asked you, who is this, how would you answer? Nicodemus said, this is a man who could give more, who asked for more than I could give. The woman at the well said, this man knows who I am, who told me everything I ever did. The blind man said, this is a man who gave me back my sight. Lazarus said, this is the man who gave me life. The sisters said, this is a man who had his own timing, but felt deeply and wept with us. What about you? Who do you say Jesus is? Who is Jesus in your life? Is Jesus a good prophet? A miracle worker? A healer? A teacher? A friend? Or is Jesus more? The crowd answered, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. They see Jesus as Messiah as they sing their hosannas. They expect Jesus to save them, deliver them, make all things good again. Yet their answer also betrays their uncertainty. And they would betray him not long after they celebrated him. He is a prophet, they said. Who is this, our scripture asks. The truth is we all have times that we doubt. We have times that we question who Jesus is. We have times where we cry out, Hosanna, save us, and then wonder if he really will. We join the crowds in expectation of what Jesus will do, yet we wonder if he can do it. 
Later in our story that we'll read, the crowds yell again, this time to crucify Jesus. The truth is sometimes we too turn our backs on Jesus and change our tune. This morning I wonder who you might find yourself identifying with in our story. Are you in the crowd shouting, Hosanna, save us, Jesus? Are you found a little further in our story? Are you Pilate, washing your hands of the problems around you and seeking to keep the peace? Are you in the crowd calling for Jesus' death, calling for your own kind of justice to be served? Are you the soldiers doing what's expected and not standing up against the laws that can be unjust? Are you the man from Cyrene who helped carry the load for someone else? There are so many faces in our crowd today, so many faces that we find in our scriptures this morning, so many people Jesus came face to face with, many places where you might find yourself. I wonder, how do you answer the question, who is this man? Our Philippians passage we just read makes it clear this man was humble and selfless, emptying himself for our sake, humbling himself to obedience on the cross. This man was highly exalted by God so that every knee would bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But not this week. That's the story for next week. This week, the story centers around that first part, the obedience unto death. May we find in our story a glimpse of how Christ calls us to be, that we might follow Christ not with hosannas and shouts to crucify, but with all of our hearts. May we find out who Jesus is as we hear the story today and in the days to come. Amen and amen.